can you even see me in the camera? Yeah. I don't, it, I don't trust you, to be honest. Dude, the light is great. It's like, all natural. We don't even have lights on. How can the light be great? From the fucking outside world. Put the shades down. No. I don't want to see that light today. You want to show us what you got yesterday? Oh. Well, it's it's the ink's like bleeding because it's got the, the bandage on. Yesterday is Sunday. Sunday's the best day out of the week to put a shift in. We ain't talking about work. I like drink, I like going out on Sundays. It's my favorite day for some reason. But then it leads to me like behaving as if I have a deep, like I'm deep in the flu game right now, which I'm not. We just had like 40 marks yesterday. Like went out on Sundays, we put, we went to brunch, put a shift in, Tony was there. We had, reser what time of reservations? One? As always. Okay, reservation is at one. Little known fact, if you're not from New York, step one, if you do brunch, starts at 1 p.m. It ends at 9 p.m. That was exactly my day yesterday. We started brunch at one at Carroll Place down on Bleecker Street. Great place, great spot, wholesome. We were running on Adderall and Passion. That was the theme of yesterday. We've realized there's a key to success. There's two parts of the equation. Well, there's three. There's after the equal sign is success, before it, Adderall, Passion, success. We all run it. The whole crew runs with it. Don't do drugs. After Carroll Place, we went to Galway Hooker. Do you remember that girl that was behind us? She was at the bar, she, crimson chin, big chin. She didn't work there or she did? She didn't. Mm. She was in the group of friends. That guy came and, actually that's kind of disrespectful that I said that on camera, he might watch this. The guy that came, that came and said what up to us, like yeah. he knows from TikTok, was a girl in his group of friends. She didn't come up to me at the bar, but she found me on Instagram after we had left and DM me. It was like my friend, whatever his name was, I think Charlie, came up to you guys afterwards. And she was like, we should go out for a drink and talk about March Madness. I was like, March Madness? Nothing I would rather less talk about than March Madness. <laughs> I mean, I, I appreciated the opening line. She like put a little bit of effort into it. Uh, anyways, Galway Hooker. And then Tony, Tony's drinking for four hours and then he has a date later that night. I paced myself well though. I, I was a good friend. Yeah. When we were ordering shots, I made sure not to get you any while they were all trying to fucking chirp you and get you dragged down to the gutter. I almost did it. Yeah. I, I went exactly to the limit I needed to go. You were on the edge of the cliff. If I, had I just, you know, gave you a little boink, you would have been done. So for the timeline, this has got to be around four o'clock because you went home right before because you were like, I got to sleep. And you're like, no fucking chance. You're walking back to your apartment, sleeping, waking up. I wasn't getting, sleeping. Getting I was just like, five. yeah, that's what you told us though. <laughs> it's not what I told you either. Bro, you said I'm going home to nap. I wanted to nap, but yeah, I like it was it was an, I had at an hour. Ah, so we were going from Galway Hooker. We tried to go to the happiest hour, but that was closed. Instead, we stopped at the Goat Fiddlesticks because the outdoor air is popping. My favorite bar in all of New York City. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> I hate that fucking place. Uh, we went to Fiddlesticks. We were just waiting for Tony's date to start because we were going to pop in to the art bar where he had his date and go spy on him, to which we masterfully executed. If you've ever been to the art bar, there's like two areas, there's the front bar, and then there's like a place in the back that's like, I don't even know how you explain it. It's, it's, it almost feels like a sex dungeon, honestly. Like if you're at the point where you're bringing the person there that you already are in sexual relationships with, you could probably have sex with them there. It's a weird atmosphere. It almost feels like a, if a library was turned into a bar that was also a sex dungeon. Is that an accurate description? Yeah, that's not bad. I feel like it, thanks. <laughs> not bad. We're working on very few brain cells right now. So we fucking northbound, southbound, eastbound, get into the back room. Tony didn't even see us walk in there. I like very clearly saw it, like walk two feet next to him, sit with a girl on the couch. We post up northeast corner, he's in the southwest corner. By the time we sat down, uh, I couldn't see shit though, there was a big chair. Either way, our spy mission just, it didn't work. We got around to drinks, they were terrible. Great bar, terrible drinks, our bar. Uh, they should invest in like actual, you know, um, bartenders that know how to make cocktails because those are atrocious. As soon as we took one sip, we're like, we gotta get at it. What are we even doing here, you know? There was no, there was no end game in mind. It was more just like, can't wait to see Tony's reaction. He never saw us until we were walking out. He was talking about us as we were walking out. And then we're like, see you later, Tony. And then he started laughing and then we left. And I don't know where he went, but we went to go get tattoos afterwards. Many brunch days ending tattoos. We got Steve to get a tattoo. Wilson got a tattoo. <clears throat> I got a tattoo, which this was the whole preface to telling you that story, I think. Now I have to take my whole shirt off and shit. Uh, this it's just like too tight right now. I can't do it. Oh, we'll do it like another time in this vlog. Maybe on like Wednesday or Thursday. By the time we're feeling good, 
So yeah, got home at I fucking ripped Bleecker Street Pizza. Tony apparently did too. Would you go with? I went with the single white. Mm, I don't think they had white when I went. I had uh, square the Nona. Yeah, square yeah. Square Nona and um, sausage. Sausage. Double sausage. A little sausage action. Yeah, they had a new slice the other night. It got me fired the fuck up, which they never do. It was like bacon bell peppers. Oh. Yeah, it was it, nice. It hit tremendously. For like fucking Barry Bonds. I, they never they never spice it up. And when they do, it's like my eyes, you know, it's just the fucking flesh. I'm like, give me the whole pie. Uh, <laughs> You're like one of the few people who would actually notice they added a new. You don't piece. understand that, yeah, because I go there so often. It'd be like if I walked into the office and there was a new plant in here. Like, you're goddamn right, I would recognize that. You know? Most people would just be like, oh, I've never noticed that one before. You'd yeah. be like, oh, new pizza drop. <laughs> yeah. New slice drop, baby. <laughs> yeah, I ate some, so I fucking fell asleep at about 9.30. Woke up at 5.30 this morning. It's a horrendous, like, level of sleep. Uh, so now, yeah, now it's Monday morning. That's the one downfall of loving Sundays. Mondays are... I usually like Mondays. I don't drink Sundays. Mondays are like my second favorite day of the week, you know? But now I have a to-do list of like 12 things that I want to just rip through and then leave and go home. And maybe go to Bleecker Street Pizza and then go to sleep. See if they got a new slice drop today. All right, what do we got to do today? Uh, we got to film tomorrow's video and then make the thumbnail. I'm filming with Jordan today on his podcast. I have to make the thumbnail for big content and then I want to chop up like six clips from it. Tommy Gabagool. Wow. What else do we have here? So I'm gonna film Jordan, cut up big content clips. I have to rearrange the big content on YouTube. Yeah, we have a bunch of bullshit. I gotta get my thumbnail bag today. Get these motherfuckers ready. Oh, also, what do we think about these these jackets? I think they're pretty fire. Yeah, I don't know how I like like this symbol. I almost feel like the patch, like the blue patch, might look better on it. Or just going just the the BDG letters in white. You know. Like just put, not like the actual symbol, but just BDG and white on the black might look better. Might look more official. People might think we work at like a bank and want to give us investment money. All right, whatever. There's the only problem with talking into a fucking camera. I can't get feedback. All right, all right. No good words. We're uh, currently doing Tony's job, getting back to my, getting back to my roots, figuring out how to use Premiere Pro. It takes me like 42 minutes to, to cut up a 42 second clip. Just jumping back and forth between people. I don't know how you do it with four different like video files. Yeah, it's it's tough. It would ruin me. There's really kind of no efficient way of doing it. I just don't understand why iMovie doesn't just make one update. One update and puts every other video editing system out of business. That was a good clip though that you posted the other day. I saw uh, that you labeled it announcement. Announcement. And mm -hmm. someone made like an announcement post like, hey, I'm getting promoted or some shit, right? And I always like internally kind of like make fun of those things. People on all platforms do it, but it made me start thinking at the core of it, why do people do that? And why is it such a big part of the world's content in a sense? And I'm like, I mean, we live in a world where we, we know a lot of people that make content, Yeah. but realistically 99% of the people that we know don't make content. And the only content that people that we know that don't make content post are like announcement, right, right, are announcement right. type posts. Okay. So I'm thinking like, okay, some family members, friends or whatever, yeah. the only time- I got engaged. Like right. That, yeah. And because those, oh, because they know internally, it's like a subconscious content play by them, knowing that that's the only type of posts that will get engagement. They don't care that the people from high school know that they got a job promotion. Why would you ever care oh, about- You're just saying the, these are like I'm locks so, to I'm get so, engaged. This is why the quality of content has gone down so traumatically. I think because people are only focused on and th this goes back to the core of what I'm saying. Okay, I think a lot of content creators are just looking for the numbers. It's like, right. yeah, because even when you go down to the basic of the basic of people who don't create content, wow. the only content they do create, surefire content that they know will get engagement. Immediately dropped everything I was doing. Had to listen. Everyone does, yeah. This is the, the announcement generation. Everyone just likes to fucking drop announcements about what they're going to do rather than actually fucking doing it. You know, so let's announce this new content we're going to do, but let's not fucking work hard on the content, you know? It's not edit on Premiere Pro. Let's not put the fucking work in. Let's just make an announcement that we might put the work in, you know? That's what this, that's what this generation is about. I might announce every piece of content I move going forward. I gotta make, I'm gonna make an announcement right now. What about? I don't know, I'm gonna figure it out in the next 10 seconds though. 
What if your announcement was that you have an announcement coming soon? Jack's done that before a few times. It'd be like, huge announcement, I have a source that I'm gonna reveal later or something. So he's done it, I've, like, I've made fun of him on Twitter for that. Making announcements to make announcements. I forgot to bring it up in our big content episode. I don't really have anything on the calendar except for me and Sexual are getting on a call today with some visa people. I don't know what we're going in for. I think it's just, this is the time where we have to like convince them that Sexy's an accountant. We need to get him a visa for the next three years. I feel like if I just pull up with a calculator, there's like, there's no way this guy's not an accountant. We just have Sexy hold it the whole time. We might have to get him put glasses on. Glasses and a calculator? Who says no? Who says he's not an accountant? All right, well, big judgment day for Sexual. Mm-hmm. How fire is this fucking poster? Which one, you like the girls one? This one's awesome. Kind of reminds me of like, uh, ASAP Rocky dropped an album like two years ago. And it had it was like bright yellow and black color works. We need more spice in here, you know? You know what I mean? There he is. There's a vanity 1203. Oh, I said 1202. Fucking so so predictable. <laughs> you ready for your big meeting today? Yeah. We have call Getting ready to be deported. Yeah, wait, so what's our do we have like a game plan here? Uh, I just have, we'll, just well this is this is just with the lawyer. So like we're just like figuring out exactly what we need. So like, they're gonna give us the game plan basically. Yeah, I have a bunch of questions I need to ask, but like I need to know if I need to leave the country and then come back. And then I need to know like, is there a chance they reject me? And then like what we need to have prepared. I think I need like my transcript. I think you need to say exactly what my roles are. Like write some letter. Chat GPT, baby. <laughs> We're gonna chat GPT your way into the visa. Hell yeah. I'm down. <laughs> I'll make good content. Yeah. A legal alien <laughs> gets into America through chat GPT. <laughs> Well, arrested the border because <laughs> he's a ChatGPT. I use ChatGPT as my lawyer. <laughs> That'd be actually fire. Now we're thinking. Now we're cooking. Can you imagine if the border patrol person is like, I know who you are. You're sexy pads from BDG. You don't do accounting shit. You I mean, we keep putting out content like this. It's only a fucking matter of time. <laughs> All I have to do is click one button to look into what we're doing. Yeah. That's one more view, though. Facts. Get them to subscribe. They like and subscribe. Yeah. <laughs> How'd it go with JJ? It's good. One good. You yeah. fucking embarrass him? I mean, I embarrass everybody. Put him in the spin they're cycle? stepping in the Thunderdome. It's fucking game over for him. Idiots. I don't even know why they accept the invite at this point. I was going to tell JJ to wear something matching or figure out what he was wearing, but this is just like an unmatchable fit. And I was, I was gonna. I was going to mention it next. This is just like... This summer is just, it's going to be a bloodbath for everybody else walking down the street. Man, look at that. With the hat and the shirt and the under sweatshirt with the gold watch. The amount of times I'm going to have to change this summer because of the fuck, how, how drippy I am. Shit. She. We just, uh, we just set live the, the Dynasty Leagues that we're organizing for everybody. We just put out a video on YouTube, Discord, Twitter. Uh, damn, I should have put an announcement on this. I didn't want to announce it. I didn't want to make an announcement just because I was just talking shit about it. That's the thing. It's like the you know, it's like the boy who cried announcements. Can't do that all the time. To be honest though, I feel like if you even if you went announcement, people would be like, "Oh, this is probably a trap." But it's like ironic. It's ironic enough that it would hit, right? Yeah. Whatever. I hit him with it. We should win a Nobel Peace Prize tweet. So we're just doing so much good by the community. Let's see how many people we get fucking flooding in here. Oh, there we go. See, they're coming in. These are all on the list. Like two minutes trying to provide a service it's free right all you just got to do is hop in the discord we created a bot within the discord that allows you to just basically click it and it throws you into a private channel that's your dynasty league and sexy will be doing a lot of the manual work where he'll throw like the sleeper league link pinned to the top of each chat so we're trying to automate the process as much as possible of just again focusing back on our core content we've been doing so much dynasty rookie content products services documenting always always then we might need to put fucking fashion as the fourth pillar but i don't know if you guys can keep up in the office yet i've actually been wearing the same outfit for the last like week and a half i mean the same the last two years no but like specifically now it's like same hoodie same same t-shirt i wouldn't be surprised why why, why aren't you washing your clothes i am washing them you have washing a washer in unit 
No, it's from across the street. I don't know if I believe you. I don't, I don't know. I don't know what to tell you. You're just going to have to wait till tank top season fucking hits. Dude, when tank top season hits, I'm going to be looking so ripped. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you believe in me? Because <laughs> I've seen you. <laughs> I'm kind of worried that if we don't vet any of the commissioners. I've like never heard of anybody in any of these leagues. Yeah. So like, it'd be just a lot more work to do that. Cause it'd already be 11 people I'd have to vet. Well, I feel like, I don't know, maybe not like a full vet, but there, I feel like we have to have some, even if it's like baseline filterage, like, I don't know. I feel like whoever's the most anti, I feel like half the commissioners are probably like 16 year olds. Like I don't want those kids running the league cause they're going to leave next year. I don't know what stats we're looking for. You know how if like a like a fucking running back runs a four eight three at an NFL combine, and you, we're just not drafting. He's not gonna be on the depth chart. We need, what's our four eight three of commissioning dynasty leagues? I want to say age. A lot of these though, like like it seems like they know what they're doing. You already got a league drafting. Yeah, league nine, and it looks like they like did their own ru rules for the buy-ins. They did. It Everybody pays 200, so like you pay two years up front. And they all agree to it. That's pretty good. I, I can't actually go into the league though. To see. Yeah, I mean, that's fine. I feel like we just needed to give them kind of like bumpers, but just trying to set it up where, you know, any possible year two problems are gonna come back to us pretty much. You know, like it's not on us obviously, but if we have a commissioner who sets up the league and team stake or league safe, whatever it is. Does league safe have any sort of protocols in place for a commissioner leaving and just taking the money? They, are, they can't. There has to be majority approval. So like, unless unless they have six other people along with them that like agree that the commissioner should run off with the money, right. then they but can't. I feel like TeamSafe didn't have that. I feel like TeamSafe, like as commissioner, I could have just been like, yeah, winner takes all, I'll put myself as first place like every time. All right, well, yeah, if that's the case, then I guess we don't have to really worry about that. Yeah. And then if we're, we're co-commissioner in every league, yeah. yeah, so we could jump in if anything happens. Like if there's something where like collusion starting to happen or something, then we can easily jump in, like kick whoever it is. Yeah. But a lot of these, like, like a lot of these leagues are like, it's looking good in terms of everybody knows what they're doing. For the draft, they're including rookies in their startup. Like, can you no, see? they're actually like, that's like a poll they're having open in a lot of leagues. It's like they're doing like, want to the kickers or have the rookies included, rookie drop separate. We should, I guess, wait, we, have, we, we attach the bylaws in all the channels. Yeah. So they have the ability to download them. Yeah. And they could like change them if they wanted to. Yeah. Okay. You know when you don't eat anything all day and then like you just eat a lot at once? Yeah. Kind of like really fucks with your energy levels. That's what just happened to me. I was zoned in all day. And now it's five o'clock and I just had my first meal and now I don't feel good anymore. I ate like too much, too fast. I don't know how you do that. Go so long without eating. Who cares? Who cares about anything, honestly? I was just, I feel like I was just so busy when I have like a bunch of work to do, I just forget. I feel like I can't focus on shit until I'm fed. That's crazy. My brain works like a hundred times better when I don't eat. Yeah, not me. You eat breakfast every day? Yeah, hell yeah. What do you mean hell yeah? I can eat breakfast and then like not eat the rest of the day. Like that's way, that sounds way easier than like not eating until now. Really? Yeah. No, I never eat breakfast. I was out on Wednesday night and I got home at like one. I didn't really eat much throughout the day. I just cooked up a giant breakfast at like 1 a.m. Bacon, <laughs> eggs, like all of it. I'm sick. Kirkland Thick Cut Bacon, goat. Kirkland Thick Cut Bacon, their vanilla ice cream. What else? I don't know. Those two things are the goat. Sexy, you used to work at Costco. What are yeah. the goat items? The chicken wings? The wings are pretty good. Uh, don't get the frozen ones though. Always get the ones that they make. The ones they make are so good. Just like whatever seasoning they put in it. Like from like the hot bar? No, like frozen. Like if you went to Costco, like could you have lunch? Yeah. I, I, would, I would do that all the time. Yeah, like cook there. Like in the food court. They have a food court. Yeah, you didn't know that. I don't go to fuck Costco. I'm not a peasant. Come on now. Costco's for atheists. Dude, Costco's food court's like iconic. Like yeah. they're dollar fifty hot dogs, their pizza, their I know Ikea's like food court more than I know of Costco's. Jeez. I didn't even know Costco had it. I legit didn't know that. I feel like you you're lying. Why would I lie? I don't know. You're just trying to be, um, you're just trying to say outlandish shit right now. <laughs> <laughs> no, like I've been to Costco before and I know they hand out free so samples. Right? right? How do you not know that the food court exists? I've been to Costco probably twice. I think it was both times out in California. I've, we order from it all the time, just through like Instacart, but I don't think I've 
There's not like a Costco in the area. I've never had a Costco card before. Like your Costco card is on my account. You're welcome. Yeah. Like I've never, I've been in there like twice maybe. It's actually my mom's Costco card. Even better. No, when I worked there, I would get food from the food court like every day. That might be a little too much. <laughs> that seems like overkill. But like it was so cheap. That's true. You get like two hot dogs. Like if we don't have a Costco card, you'd have no reason to go into a Costco. Sure. Yeah. Costco. yeah. Right. I've never had a Costco card. So why the fuck would I have been in a Costco? Why would I know they have a food court? It's like being so like, like if I, I've been to an Ikea because I don't need a fucking Ikea you card to get to go into Costco. I don't oh. think I've ever been to Ikea, but I know they have a food court. That's right. same. So I've never been to Ikea, but I know they have a food court. Correct. Because it's well-known. Costco so is Costco. Costco, no, clearly not. Costco is 100% more well-known. I'm very smart, and I don't know, therefore it's not well-known. I bet you would run a poll on Twitter right now. Costco's wins. Run it. What's the poll? What's, what food court is more iconic? Costco or Ikea? You're about to get absolutely smothered by the meatball enthusiasts right now. It's not going to be a good look. Which store's food court is more iconic? Cut quickly. He goes over and votes for. Him. He's he's in all the sleeper leagues right now. I've been like, oh, Costco. <laughs> I'm trying to fill them with with a bunch of Costco fans. Yeah, and like you can only join. Like also, Costco. we collected your sleeper name and username, but but also throw in your Costco club <laughs> your card. <laughs> Let's fucking tighten this race up a little bit.